Hello everyone, this is Eric Aben with Android Community and today we're going to be taking just a quick look at the new Motorola Electrify M which is available at US Cellular. When I say quick look, I mean it because uh, we have seen this phone before. Aside from a few cosmetic differences, this is the Droid Razer M. Um, you've got the exact same hardware. There are a few aesthetic differences, like there's no Kevlar on the back, and the screen, which is still 4.3 inches and Super AMOLED Advanced, is not edge-to-edge -edge like Motorola is so fond of saying the Droid Razer M is. Otherwise, there aren't that many uh, differences between the two phones. The Electrify M looks, looks more similar to the Electrify 2, I would say, than the Droid Razer M, although um, I believe the Electrify 2 does have a Kevlar back, like the Droid Razer M. But in any case, on the inside, you've still got the Snapdragon S4 dual core processor clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. You've still got one gigabyte of RAM. You've still got eight gigabytes of internal storage. Uh, so nothing has changed, uh, at least as far as the hardware is concerned, as we go from the Droid Razer M to the Electrify M. So the Razer M was a pretty solid handset. It wasn't the best, but it was good. And the Electrify M is pretty good too. It comes running Android 4.0. Uh, the dual core processor, <laughs> I don't know who those two were. Anyway, the dual core processor keeps things running pretty quick. Uh, you can see that there are a few drop frames swiping between home screens, but nothing too serious. Um, and you know, it should be able to run, it should be able to run pretty much anything you get off the Google Play Store. Uh, the Super AMOLED Advanced screen is nice and colorful, uh, but the problem is is that it is uh, displaying at QHD resolution, so it's not as sharp as I would like it to be. Also, 4.3 inches is on a little on the small side for me. I know that 4.3 inches is probably going to be good for a lot of people, but for my big, my big hands, uh, 4.3 inches is a little on the small side. Um, but other than that, it, it performs well. Uh, you know, you've got about four gigabytes of that, of those eight gigabytes of internal storage free, uh, because there are plenty of apps that come pre-installed on this bad boy, although there are a few that I've installed lurking in there too, like uh, speed test right there. But really, I mean, if you're looking for a good mid-range device, uh, either the Electrify M or the Droid Razor M would do really well. I mean, it just really depends on which carrier you're going through. Uh, Electrify M is at US Cellular, Razor M is at Verizon. Uh, but before we wrap this up, let's take a look at the outside. We've got the volume rocker and the power button on the right side of the device. And then we have a slot for micro SIM and micro SD and the micro USB port on the left, on the bottom, there's nothing. And on the top, there's nothing aside from a lonely 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Um, 2000, 2000 milliamp hour battery on the inside, so it's relatively beefy. Uh, eight megapixel camera sensor around back. Can't remove the battery from the phone, so you're stuck with it, which, uh, you know, doesn't make some users very happy, but at least 2000 milliamp hours is, is beefy enough to, um, to last you for a while. I mean, with moderate use, the battery lasted me almost two days. It does drain somewhat quickly in sleep mode, especially if you've got it connected to Wi-Fi and 3G, but nothing that I think is going to cause too many problems for many users. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's a solid handset, but we wouldn't expect anything less uh, just because the Razer M was a solid handset, and this is essentially the same. Um, but yeah, go ahead and check out the full review on AndroidCommunity.com, and thank you for watching.